Hey y'all, it's Corey, and welcome to Everyday Man. Today I'd like to do something a little different with you guys. I'd like to show you actual hurricane preparations and throughout the day of a hurricane and the aftermath. I'd like to show you what exactly goes on around here. Now a few weeks ago I did a little parody on the uh, hurricane preparations, me playing in a pool just like a little fun thing. But today we actually have a hurricane, uh, category two hurricane, Zeta, that the eye of the hurricane is projected to come within about 20 miles of my house. And a category two means we're looking at close to 100 mile an hour winds. So we're gonna have a powerful storm come through. And today I'd kinda like to just run, run you through my day as we go. And, uh, and we'll get to it right after this. So the first thing I wanna tell you guys is, man, keep your TV on. Keep a radio on, stay informed. My 24-year-old uh, my son, son just showed up today on his motorcycle to put it in my garage, and I asked him what his plans were for the day, and he had no idea that there was a Category 2 storm that was going to be upon us in a few hours. So if you look, keep your TV on, man. I got, I got the news on. It's on a commercial right now, but the weather's playing right now pretty much 24-7, and you want to stay informed. So first thing we're gonna wanna do today, I got all this stuff I piled up yesterday outside my garage door, including my boy's motorcycle. You wanna get everything picked up. I took down the, the top to my swimming pool, took the tarp down, the wind's gonna get strong. Just get prepared, pick up everything in your yard that can blow around and just get ready. You wanna make sure you have gasoline for your generator, for your vehicles. Make sure, I'm gonna have to pull mine out here in a second. My generator's inside my garage. I know I'm gonna lose power. I gotta open the garage door while there's still power before I can hook my generator up. So it's small things like that, but you wanna stay on top of it. And we'll, uh, we'll see you in a bit. Let me get this stuff cleaned up. All right, y'all, so here we are. It's about 9.30. The news is saying we should be sheltered in place for around noon. Uh, it's starting to rain around here. I got my side-by-side -side pulled up under the carport. We got the Jeep here full of gas. We got the truck out there full of diesel. I got three gas cans full. I got two in the bed of the truck. We're gonna go fill those up. We got the generator outside filled up and ready to go. And basically, we're gonna get in the truck here in a few minutes and go see if everybody's panicking, see what the gas station looks like. So that would be fun. Stick with me, y'all. So y'all, we're at the local grocery store here in this island, Frank's. And uh, I just went in and got a case of beer and my wife is in there actually buying sandwich trays for a funeral that's supposed to happen today. I don't think that funeral's gonna happen, but anyway, let me go ahead and tell you, Frank's is packed and people are definitely out buying groceries. In the day of a storm, you don't wanna be buying groceries. Grocery store's gonna be packed. Go to day before, just FYI. So we just left the grocery store and it's packed full of people. Uh, I was actually going to film in there, but it was a little crazy. And uh, now we're at the gas station. And every pump is full. Everybody's getting ready, and it's good to see. We ain't, uh, the hurricane is not going to catch anybody by surprise. So I'll see y'all when I get back home. Okay. All right, y'all. So continuing our hurricane preparation day, uh, the gas station in the Zimons, I thought I was filling up gas cans. Well, it wasn't happening. They were out of gas. And so there was a lot of people there disappointed and have to go elsewhere to find gas. So moral of the story is do not wait till the storm is five hours away from you to find gasoline. Now, the weather's not too bad right now. The wind hadn't really picked up. It is raining, but we'll be fine. We're going to, uh, uh, we're going to Lulin. So I'm sure I'll find, there's a big racetrack there in Booty. I'm sure I'll be able to find gas. So I'm not real concerned about it. And I do have some gas at the house. So it's not a big issue. I'm just, I was driving around looking for a little more gas. We'll catch up with you in a little bit, y'all. Okay. All right, y'all. So we are at gas station number two. Hopefully they got gas. And they do. So like I said, moral of the story, don't wait till the last day or the day of the storm to go get your gas. But uh, we found it. I knew it wasn't gonna be a real big deal. I don't really need this, I don't think, but I wanted it on hand just in case. 
so next time you see me, we'll be sitting under the carport, I'm sure, and uh, waiting to see just how bad the weather gets. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Hey, y'all. Well, it's about 1.30. The rain here has become pretty steady. It's not raining real hard. Uh, the wind's picking up. It's getting a little breezy. The storm, I just looked at the news, is about 150 miles, 155 miles south of New Orleans, and it's moving like at 20 miles an hour. They're saying it's going to get up to a strong Category 2, maybe a Category 3 now. Um, so it's going to be pretty bad. The, the conditions will deteriorate pretty quickly here. But in the meantime, we're going to ride to my buddy's house down the street. Uh, we're going to see what they're doing waiting for the storm. Let's go take a ride. So we head down the street. Like I said, it's raining pretty steady right now. Not hard, but steady. Well, it looks like everybody's pretty much got their stuff picked up. Had some trees on the side of the road earlier um, from people cutting them down. And they actually came this morning and picked up everybody's tree limbs and whatnot. So everything looks pretty clean. Nothing exciting though. I don't see anybody outside. Look like everybody's everybody's in their house waiting for the weather. For a lot of people, this is going to be the most wind we've had around here uh, since Hurricane Katrina, actually. Now, Hurricane Katrina was a Category 5 storm, and when it hit, it had been downgraded to a 4, and the winds were getting weaker. Um, and Hurricane Katrina also passed within 20 or 30 miles of my house. So this one's taking a similar path, but this one's actually going to be strengthening as it hits. So it'll be interesting to see how everybody makes out. I am not saying this is going to be a Katrina. This little storm is moving quick. The, the winds won't be nearly as bad. Or the duration of the winds, I should say. There won't be as much rain. But uh, nonetheless, it still will be a uh, powerful hurricane. What's up, Lance? What's up, Corey? So here we are now, watching the wonderful weather. Now Lance has got it going on. Come walk this way. Lance, unlike myself, doesn't have a portable generator. He's got the uh, whole home generac, so he doesn't have to come outside and plug in or start anything. So he's set up. You gonna get to try it out for the first time here in a couple hours? Hopefully a tree falls and busts the power line. <laughs> right, we can only hope, right? <laughs> What we got going on here? What you do during a hurricane? You cook. Big old Boston butt. <laughs> what that, else did I do? That's why we at his house right now waiting on the storm. <laughs> we, drink, but, we drink beer and cook. Right, we're going to drink, drink a beer, cook, eat some meat. But uh, we'll get back with you. When the weather starts getting bad, Karen and I will actually head home. We're not going to stay here and be idiots and be on the road in a 100 mile an hour wind. But uh, this is what we do, guys, getting ready for the storm. See y'all in a bit. Yeah, you'll have to come back in the side by side. <laughs> <laughs> we made it back home. We uh, we homesteading it for the rest of the duration of the storm. The uh, the rain has sub substantially increased. The wind gusts are getting pretty high. It's right around uh, 10 minutes after three right now. The storm's about an hour away from making landfall around Homa, and it will be here after that. I would say in about the next hour. So I'll probably get back with you guys in about an hour. Uh, and we should we should see some wind and some pretty serious rain, but uh, we'll get back with you. All right, see y'all. Hey y'all, I'm just out here. Want to give you a little update? Show you what it looks like as the storm approaches. The wind's getting relatively substantial out here. Um, it's not bad where I'm at. Right behind my house. But I can assure you, it's blowing really well, or really hard. Yeah. 
The rain is coming down sideways. Said my house is protecting me where I'm at in this tree right here. But you get out of the way from my house. You see those trees are really starting to blow around. Just thought I'd give you guys a little update. Uh, kind of wonder what time the power's gonna go out because I got a feeling it's going out. I think I'll definitely be running my generator. So uh, that's where we at. All right, see y'all. All right, y'all, so it's now around 4.25. Um, this little storm just made, I say little storm, this fast moving, just about category three storm, just made landfall about an hour and a half southwest of us in Cocodre, Louisiana, which pretty much means it's coming right on top of me. Just in the last few minutes, these wind gusts have really picked up the rain's coming in sheets so uh, i got a feeling it's gonna get pretty ugly here pretty quick here in a few minutes just wanted to kind of show you around show you what's going on like i said right now my house has got me good and protected i'm under my carport here but uh it's blowing it's blowing pretty good like i said raining sideways Just want to let y'all know what's going on. Just wanted to have a little documentation of, of my day with the hurricane up, upon us. And I think it's just about here, y'all. I'm actually quite surprised my neighbor's trampoline right here hadn't decided to depart from its location. And She's also got a very large dead oak tree right here that I can't imagine is going to survive. But that's what it looks like right here in Bayou Gosh right now, guys. I'll see y'all in a bit. Hey, y'all. Y'all got Corey back. And it's about 10, minute to five, 10 minutes to five, and it's a... Uh, the weather has substantially gone downhill. It's coming down hard. The wind's blowing hard. It's fun to watch the sheets of rain come off of that roof every now and again. But, uh, these trees are getting quite a bit of it. Now my, my neighbor's old dead tree is doing some shaking. I guess I just don't have enough leaves to grab the wind. But the rain is coming down, man, absolutely in sheets. And I still think we're probably over an hour away from this, this eye getting to us. But uh, it's really kicking up here. It's really getting fun. The lights did just blink a while ago. I can't imagine they're gonna be on much longer. Yeah, guys, it's really coming down. I don't know if you can hear this wind on my microphone. I keep it under my shirt. You probably can't, but it's it's coming through my carport right now like a wind tunnel. It's uh. It's coming straight at us. All right, y'all, that's what it looks like at about 10 minutes to five. I will keep 
we'll keep filming as we progress and see how everybody turns out. Almost don't want to turn off the camera right now. It's really coming in good. Sounds like I got some tin flying off of my boat cover. Oh yeah, it's coming in bad right now. Sorry, I just wanted to clean that lens off. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down for a little while. I'll get back with y'all, okay? Oh man, every time I say that, that wind picks up and I don't want to stop recording. I guess I'll just edit out. I don't want to make a video too, too long for y'all. But I just wanted to document the storm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. And uh, oh wow, we got a rain coming off of that roof. It's coming down, guys. That wind is whipping. I really can't believe that trampoline is still there. That, that blows my mind, honestly. The only thing I can see is my house is kind of protecting it from the wind a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's getting bad. Oh, let me. Yeah, get that microphone out the wall. Yep. Oh. Had to come in my garage. My microphone's getting wet. Oh, Lord. I don't mind my phone getting wet. Phone's good and waterproof. That microphone, not so much. It's getting bad, Bob. Yeah, it's getting bad. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, y'all. It's getting pretty intense. Getting pretty intense. The lights are flickering quite a bit. In fact, my garage door just tried to close on my head for some reason, which I don't understand. Oh, we're, we're just about to lose power. I can't lose though. Oh yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's getting pretty intense. Water. Yep, my house is getting windblown water on the, the bottom floor. That roof's starting to lift up. Sure is. Yeah, that, that tent over there is getting a little loose. That came up a good two feet. Uh, Bobby's house over there. The corner of the tent right there.
No, it's hitting the broad side of my house, huh? Getting a little water in the yard, not a whole bunch. I oh, wasn't <laughs> So I'm gonna keep this camera on my neighbor's shed roof here for a little bit. Um, it looks like it's looks like he's about to be missing some of it. So we're gonna watch it for a minute the entire wooden structure, it's not just a tent too. Yeah. That's weird, it just sat right back down. How's that moving? Man, it's coming through here serious right now I honestly can't believe them lights flickered and they stayed on oh, oh, oh. <laughs> are you cheering for him to lose his roof I don't know I don't want him to lose his roof but I keep thinking he's going to go and lose his roof now. yeah it's coming up uh, it's about to fold over it looks like oh, oh, man. Yep. whatever he oh, has there There it goes. Oh, oh. oh my god. That sucks. Yeah, there it went guys. They went my neighbors. Now my neighbor's got a car shop. He works builds hot rods in there. So he's definitely gonna get some uh, water damage. No doubt. But it is coming through here big time. Yeah, the water is coming up quite a bit in the yard. It's, man, it's really getting bad out here. So St. Charles Parish is usually the first parish around here to kind of uh, call for a mandatory evacuation, but they've done it so many times this year with the hurricane season we've had, they decided not to this time. This morning, this hurricane was actually only a tropical storm. And right now it's, it's borderline category three, I think. I think they're gonna have to reevaluate the way they uh, they do their evacuations in St. Charles Parish. This is uh this is pretty substantial right now. Pretty bad. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. So what, an hour away? Uh yeah, it's getting a little closer than that. I'm afraid to go look at that shit truck. You hear that? That's a train. That's a tornado. You hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Right. Sounds like there's a tornado getting close. Sound they always tell you that that sound of a train. Oh, I do hear it. And I can hear the sound of a train. I don't think. Yep. I don't think there's a tornado far from us, y'all. Uh, this is this is seriously intense. I'm not I'm not adding any dramatic effect, man. This is uh, this weather's bad. Yeah, they definitely gonna have to reevaluate how they uh, they call for evacuations. Um, I think some people are gonna get some damage to their home from this. I hope not.
I'm assuming my neighbor must have uh, anchored his trampoline. Because usually a light wind flips that thing over. So it's about a quarter to six. Um, judging by the, the radar we can get on our phone, it looks like the eye of the storm has just passed, I would say less than 10 miles to the east of us. So I do think the worst has passed. The wind has totally shifted around, shifted around. Uh, it's still, still quite heavy, the wind. Neighbors' roofs got damaged. There's a there's a trailer home over here on this side that lost all of its siding. Uh, let's see if I can get y'all a picture of that. In fact, we watched the siding blow off. Uh, my neighbor here has totally lost his little shed. This trailer here was being dismantled, but it had a couple of walls up on it. It no longer does. Uh, there's a lot of standing water now. And as you can see, the wind is still quite heavy. Uh, so that's where we at. Just wanted to do an update for y'all. It did get quite intense. I don't know how much of this shaky cam video I'm gonna put in, but uh, we definitely had a tornado pass right in front of us. Um, man, it was it was just seriously, seriously intense. I gotta tell you, I think this wind's pick, picking back up. I may have been wrong about the worst passing us. Let me get back to the garage. Now I'm 100% impressed with energy right now because my lights are still on. They blinked, they blinked quite a bit, but they're still on. So uh, that's where we at. Stay with us, we'll let you see some more. So this is potentially the weirdest thing I've ever seen, y'all. The sun is shining through the clouds. It's raining sideways. The wind has not let up very much at all. And the sun is coming through. This is just, this is a, the, probably the strangest thing I've, I've witnessed. That shed right there is done too. As soon as we're gone with the back out of it. Oh yeah. Their trailer over there lost all their signings. Yep. This is just, this is crazy, y'all. This is just wild. Sun coming through all of this. It's the eeriest looking thing I can say I've witnessed. I've been through a lot of storms. This is uh, probably the most intense one I've seen, though, I'll tell you the truth. This is wild. This is crazy stuff, folks. It's so weird. It's so bright. It's so yellow. Where's the rainbow? Well, it's now quarter to seven. The power's finally out. My generator is providing the power now. It's 
storm has just about pushed past us. Still a bit breezy out. You can see the sky is really wicked color. And uh and it's dark out here. Neighbors got some solar lights. Uh, and there's a few houses around with generators. But that's it. Yards are full of water. The wind is definitely calming down. The rain is pretty much stopped. So uh, that's where we're at. The generator, um, if any of you guys watched my generator video before, I got it hooked up like I said I would. Uh, got it plugged in. And it is definitely running the house. Uh, I gotta say that was exciting. I've never actually lived through a, a I've never been here for a storm quite that strong. So, and I'm gonna give y'all a follow up tomorrow. Maybe we can get some uh, some footage of, of what people's homes look like. So uh, I'll, I'll get back with y'all. But for the night, I think that's about it. Okay, so the hurricane is come and gone, and we've learned a couple of lessons. If you need groceries, don't wait to the day of the storm. The, the grocery store was crazy. Um, the, gas, the, the gas station was crazy. Some gas stations were out of gas the day of the storm. And the storm has passed now, it's been two days. I'm an electrician at the plant, so I was at the plant all day yesterday hooking up generators for, for the power outages. And moving around the parish yesterday, the gas stations that did have power were completely inundated with people waiting to get gas. They were actually cars lined up on the highways and stuff. So you want to be prepared. You want to have gasoline before the storm. You don't want to wait till it passes and go waiting in an hour long line to get gasoline. You want to use a little bit of common sense. Get prepared. Get the gas you need. Get the food you need. All of these things. Um, but we did fare out rather well. We were on the west side of the storm, which is generally considered the best side of the storm. But we were right on the edge of that eye of that hurricane. So we did get some very strong winds here. The weather was was bad. It was really bad. It was really intense for a while. And um, I said, y'all, I wanted to show you what it was like getting ready and actually going through a storm. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And uh, consider subscribing. And until next time, guys, I'll see y'all on Everyday Man.